Okay, I'm gonna get right to the point. We in uh First Kings eleven and we're gonna look at um Verse 27, this was a cause that he lifted up his hand against the king Solomon built Milo and repaired the breaches of the city of David, his father. And the man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valor. And Solomon, seeing the young man that he was industrious, he made him ruler over all the charge of the house of Joseph. So that's the house of Ephraim, Jeroboam. And it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Ahijah, the Silonite, found him in the way. So the prophet Ahijah found Jeroboam in the way and he had clad himself with a new garment. And they too were alone in the field. So just uh, <coughs> Ahijah and Jeroboam was in the field by themselves. And Ahijah caught the new garment that he had that was on him and rent it in 12 pieces. So he tore his garment in 12 pieces. <laughs> and he said to Jeroboam, take thee 10 pieces, for thus said the Most High, the power of Israel. Behold, I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give 10 tribes to thee. That's the northern tribes with the Levites initially. Or with the Danites, I say. But he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. So Solomon was given Benjamin. But because that they have forsaken me and have worshipped Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians, Chimoth, the god of the Moabites, and Milcom, the God of the children of Ammon, and have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in mine eyes, and to keep my statutes and my judgments, as did David his father. Howbeit I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life. For David my servant's sake, not for his sake, but for King David's sake, the most I say you're going to do this, whom I chose. Because he kept my commandments and my statutes. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand, who was Rehoboam, and will give it unto thee, even ten tribes. See? We gave Rehoboam, who was an Ephraimite, ten tribes. And unto his son will I give one tribe, that David my servant may have a light always before me in Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen me to put my name there. And I will take thee, and thou shalt reign according to all that thy soul desireth, and shalt be king over Israel. And it shall be, if thou wilt hearken unto all that I command thee, talking to Jeroboam, the leader of the ten tribes, the northern tribes, and will walk in my ways, and do that is right in my sight, to keep my statutes and my commandments as David my servant did, that I will be with thee and build thee a sure house as I built for David and will give Israel unto thee. That's the northern tribes called Israel. And will for, his, for this afflict the seed of David, but not forever. See, not forever. Solomon sought therefore to kill Jeroboam. And Jeroboam arose and fled into Egypt unto Shishak, king of Egypt, and was in Egypt until the death of Solomon, and the rest of the acts of Solomon, and all that he did, and his wisdom, are they not written in the book of the acts of Solomon? That's a book, the book of the acts of Solomon. And the time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was 40 years. And Solomon slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David his father. And Rehoboam, his son, reigned in his stead. So when you read the story, you read on, you see that <laughs> we were wicked. And Jeroboam 
being ordained over the ten tribes, he made two calves. Not only one calf. Remember, all twelve tribes was in the in um, the wilderness, and when Moses delayed from coming down from Mount Sinai for forty days, remember they made the calves. Say, these be thy gods. So they already did it. They already know how to do it. He made two calves. More abomination before the Most High. Most High done blessed him to be over ten tribes. He gonna make a calf and say, "This be your gods." Uh, uh, uh. So there's a lot more I want to bring out, but um, especially going into um, how. We uh, start worshiping B A A L, Canaanite idol that has certain significance for the other nations, but no significance for us because we have the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's worthy to be praised for everything. And I hope this was edifying. We're going to continue on more of how wicked we were and not keeping the most high's laws, test commandments, but looking to the other nations idols and creating our own and playing around with the most high while we afflicted and went through going through what we going through now you know so we're going to continue on this because we got to go further into it to deal with how us doing what we did then and how we're doing what we're doing now affect us in the eyes of the most high and with that i say shalom and all praise to the most high power crumb most high crumb and crumb yasharala and i'm out Shalom.